The Grabcast for Sonny and Finn. This week we discuss the latest crazy goings on in the world of wrestling and give our thoughts and predictions for this weekend's Survivor Series and NXT TakeOver War Games. What's happening everybody? Welcome to the very first episode of the Grabscast with me Sonny and with me as always, it's Finn Steele. Hello. How you doing Finn? I'm very good thank you, how are you? I'm good, it's good to be back. It is, very good to be back. We're uh, starting afresh. Yes. We've dropped the games from our title. Yes. And we're just going to be covering professional wrestling on this podcast going forward. It makes sense. Because before we had spent most of our time talking about wrestling, like maybe 10 minutes at the start, talking about video games. Yeah. And uh, not video games don't always, uh, like news video games don't always come as quickly as in wrestling. Yeah. It just makes sense just to drop that for now and just focus on wrestling. And maybe Absolutely. A separate video game podcast somewhere down the line. Yeah. So with Daydreamer Gaming, we're going to sort of put together a new gaming podcast. But um, the general consensus I got from people who listen to this podcast, who I know personally, mm. were, um, you know, more into wrestling than games. Yes, I agree. And we t- we've taken it on board, and, you know, here we are now with something brand new. Yes. And brand it's cool. New. It's time and fresh. Yes, it's very cool. Yes. I feel like so much has happened in, like, wrestling since <laughs> we last did a podcast. It's, yeah, ever since you stopped doing it, wrestling has just gone completely insane. Yeah. Like, <laughs> sometimes it, there just wasn't much news, and we'd go through Raw and SmackDown and, you know, just literally run down what happened on the show. Because yeah. Because nothing else happened. Pretty much. But it's now, insane. like, we've got all sorts of stuff going on. Yeah. Like, championships changing hands, oh, wrestlers God. wrestling in places where they don't usually wrestle. And yeah, it's people turning up and bloody... Different promotions, Triple H is turning up like it's nothing. I know. Crazy. What? 2017 wrestling <laughs> has been mental. Mental. Insane. So let's start with the big news that Chris Jericho is going to be wrestling Kenny Omega, the cleaner, in New Japan Pro Wrestling's Wrestle Kingdom 12 in January. Oh my God. Holy shit. Holy <laughs> shit. Um, Insane. It's crazy, right? Yeah. It's like turns up unannounced just oh hey I'm the best in the world Alpha versus Omega Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega insane yeah it's it's mad I mean like they, they had like some little Twitter spat oh uh, yeah yeah too bad, and I guess now that turns out to be a work I guess so yeah <laughs> because you just cannot trust wrestlers nope so this is why <laughs> professional wrestling is so great like they just know how to work it they do because obviously this, this must have been in the pipeline for some time it's not oh. just oh my god like the, the promoters of New Japan haven't gone Oh, well, you know, have you seen them two falling out on Twitter? We should definitely capitalise on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's something that's been plotted for some time. And, for sure. You know, it's... I personally am not a big New Japan Pro Wrestling fan. Um, yeah, I'm sure... Uh, in a place like I'm sure I'd like it if I watched it. I mm-hmm. just don't have time with, like, 27 hours of WWE every, every week. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly that. <laughs> I mean, for me, New Japan, it's, it's very slow. It's very quiet. Mm. And it's a completely different style to WWE. I mean, WWE mm. is... Very much entertainment. Oh, yeah. Very well. it's um, in- New sports Japan. entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Are you not sports entertained? I am. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but with, with New Japan, it's, you know, it is it is a completely different style of wrestling. Yes. And the crowds are different. The atmosphere is different. Um, Wrestle Kingdom is always a spectacle, hmm. but it's not a spectacle in the sense, in the same way that WrestleMania is a spectacle. Yeah. WrestleMania is like and... glitz and glamour and fireworks. If they can afford them. <laughs> yes, that's so dumb. I can't get the drop fireworks. <laughs> it's stupid. Um, you know, Wrestle Kingdom is very much bell to bell. Yeah. And the big matches have a video package. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Jericho, who I was not aware that he was still under contract with WWE. Yeah. I, so there's been some rumbling saying that he is, but they're letting him do this or he turned up and announced and they didn't know he was doing this. They're conflicting. I've seen conflicting reports they were. Me too. I mean, I was under the impression that he... I mean, this before this happened, I was under the impression that Jericho wasn't under contract with WWE and he was just sort of going to come back every now and then. Yeah, yeah. By the time it's back down, he just turned up for a match. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. For, um, what did he for AJ Styles for the championship? It was AJ, it was AJ Styles and Kevin Owens yeah, that was to get it, the belt of off course, yeah. Owens to AJ or whatever, other yeah. around. Um, and, it, you know, it was just going to be a deal like that where he just turned up every now and then. Yeah. Then this match gets announced and... Yeah, you do hear conflicting reports. And the guys who used to do WCPW, of course, now they've moved on to something else and they're doing something called Cultaholic now. Oh, yeah. Uh, and they reported that Chris Jericho is indeed still under contract with WWE. Hmm, interesting. 
I mean, it has to be some sort of special contract because Jericho goes away two or three times a year to do his band stuff. He's like goes on tour with Fozzy and yeah, yeah. Uh, writes and records new music or whatever. And then, you know, he, when he's done with that, he comes back and has a run in WWE. Hmm. Um, so I, I don't think anybody knows for sure. Yeah, it's a weird one. Um, I don't know. I'm looking forward to the match. It's going to be amazing. I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, sure. I'll, I'll sign up to uh, New Japan's whatever it's called. Good luck with that, by the way. <laughs> it's, hard. it's hard because okay. the website is not friendly. <laughs> it's not. You have to like go through Google because you have to do it through a website. There's no like, it's not not like an app or anything. Yeah. So you you, you go through you tran- Google Translate. Oh god. <laughs> so it's just, it can be a bit of a nightmare, but it's worth it. Yeah. I remember a couple of years back. Uh, I think it was Wrestle Kingdom ten. Oh yeah. Um, an American pay per view company. Um, carried it and oh, you could right. buy it through an app and just watch it that way that was much easier yeah yeah yeah. because JR yeah. was on commentary I remember oh uh, yeah I remember that um, I've also heard that I mean I've, there's rumours that they want to do a trilogy hmm uh, so uh, the cool. first one being at Wrestle Kingdom the second one taking place at WWE's Royal Rumble just now and then the third one taking place at Wrestlemania That'd be amazing. How true that is. <laughs> it seems very far-fetched to me. Yeah, I've seen like conspiracy theories that like Jericho was sent to New Japan by WWE to try and recruit Kenny Omega to WWE for, like, in time for the way, way Wimble and all that. But uh, yeah, whether it's to be believed or not, I don't know. <laughs> do I think we'll see Kenny Omega in WWE eventually? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it will, it'll do with Hooked on AJ Styles eventually. Mm. Yeah, I mean, regardless of what people say, WWE is where people want to wrestle. Yeah. It's that the is the... Biggest payday. Mm. I mean, big stage. It, it's definitely the biggest stage. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you get people like Joey Ryan who like work the indies and say they make more money doing the indies than they would in WWE. But yeah. if you're doing a hundred dates uh, a month, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> if you're doing a hundred shows a month, charging whatever, yes, you probably are going to earn more. Um, WWE is a, a major company, and I'm sure the benefits of working for WWE are far greater than working for yourself on the indies. Yeah. But that said, I don't know for sure because. Of course, I'm not a wrestler working the Indies. Oh, right. Okay, didn't realize. Uh, Super Lucha is, <laughs> oh, yeah. but I'm not. Yeah. Where is he? You haven't seen him in a long time. No, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. been a while. I wonder how that guy is. Yeah, he's come back someday. Yeah, maybe. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but either way, uh, yes, Kenny Omega, I think, will work in WWE. Oh, yeah. For will sure. it be next year? I think maybe the time's right. Um, it'd be amazing if he comes to the way Rumble. Just turns up like a surprise entrant, like eight yeah. hours That'd be cool. Yeah, for sure. Um, it'd be cool... Maybe turn up at the Royal Rumble and have Jericho eliminate him to set up another match at WrestleMania. That'd be cool. So then they've wrestled on the two biggest cards of the year in yeah, professional yeah. wrestling. That'd be pretty awesome. That'd be cool. There's so many different things they could do with it. Oh, yeah. I look forward, I look forward to seeing uh, how this pans out, for sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, nothing may come of it. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. But have one match and that'll be it. And they go back, both going back to doing annoying things. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, Jericho just turns up on SmackDown. Kenny <laughs> Omega stays in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> womp womp. I mean, there certainly seems to be no ill feeling between uh, Chris Jericho and WWE. Yeah. Because shortly after that match was announced, it was Chris Jericho's birthday. Oh, yeah. And they tweeted and Vince it, McMahon, they? whoever controls his Twitter account, I have no idea. Probably <laughs> is not him. No way. Um, you know, wished Jericho a happy, what is he, 43? Something like that. Yeah. 40 something. Happy 40 whatever birthday. Yeah. Uh, to Chris Jericho. So, um, who knows? Who even knows? Yeah. Either way, it's going to be. It's going to be a very cool spectacle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Definitely. Yeah. Moving on. Yes. Um, the Young Bucks have had a cease and desist <laughs> order from WWE to stop using the too sweet thing. That's <laughs> happened in, uh, since we last recorded a podcast. Yeah. yeah. And they released a cool uh, t-shirt with like the, the too sweet blood out. And, yeah. Like, <laughs> it seems crazy, crazy, right? It is. It's dumb. It's obviously just payback for doing the, like, the invasion, quote unquote, yeah, I think they did. And then, Do I think the Young Bucks will end up in WWE one day? Mm. I think they will. I genuinely think they will. I, I, mm. I, I, I know, I, I know <laughs> it seems unlikely right now. Yeah, but people shit on WWE all the time. True, they, they really do. <laughs> and then they still like. I mean, Jesus! Like, look at the people that have left and come back and, and slated the company in between that time. True. The Hardys. Yeah. Like they ripped uh, Vince McMahon during their TNA broken run. Welcome back. Welcomed back with open arms. Yeah. And then like Road Dog and 
Billy Gunn. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. X Park, Nash. <laughs> yeah. The list is never ending. <laughs> <laughs> but they all come back in the end. Yeah, they do. Uh, I do think the Young Bucks personally will end up in WWE one day. They're definitely, definitely hot right now. So it would make sense. I mean, personally, I don't think much to them. I don't like their look. I think if that's what annoys me about them. I'm sure they're, they're great in ring. Yeah. Their look annoys me. I don't like <laughs> the ponytails and the sideburns. Um, and their faces just irritate me. I don't know what it is. It, they're just annoying. They just don't like their face. Yeah. They've just got <laughs> annoying faces. I don't know what it is. They just annoy me. This is, this is, but, yeah, um, I, <laughs> but I like to see talented people working the, on the biggest stage. Yeah. Because that's where the most people watch wrestling. True. Because Without question, there's no, WWE, there's yeah. no, yeah, there's, there's no other company that's as big as WWE. Very true. Um, yeah, so that's happened. Bullet Club T-shirts apparently are selling like crazy. Yeah, because using Bullet Club shirts in the Crown and WWE shows. Yeah, also, any like, event you go to now, yeah, like everywhere, you will just see Bullet Club T-shirts. Whether it, uh, whether it's like the the Villain Club or the Young Bucks. The super kick, oh, I don't know. Super kick party, yeah. Yeah, well, super yeah. kick party. I do watch the um, uh, what the hell they call it on YouTube, uh, being the elite um uh, YouTube videos. Oh, okay. Me. Yeah, are they good? Very, yeah, pretty funny actually. Yeah. Okay. It's Young Bucks and Cody Rhodes and uh, Kenny Omega just being idiots basically. And it's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That's Cody Rhodes. I mean, another one who yeah. you know adds his two pence. Uh, yes. You know, I didn't want to say moans like hell, but you know. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I think he'll end up back in WWE. Oh, for sure, yeah. He's a, he's a WWE guy. I mean, have, he have... wrestles a WWE style. Oh, yeah. He's, he's just taking that style around the indies at the minute. For sure. I think he's going to pull a Drew McIntyre, uh, go out, improve in the ring, mm-hmm. um, make, make around in the round in the indies, and then eventually make it way back to WWE, a better wrestler. Yeah, uh, and a bigger star. And a bigger star, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, when Drew left WWE, no one cared. <laughs> yeah, it's a... To some guy in three-man band who no one cared about. Yeah, literally WWE ground him down. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And then, you know, left and no one cared, myself included. Yeah, same. Um, that's nope. just the way, he was, just because of the way he was used at the end. Oh, yeah. He came in, like, super hot. It's like the oh. chosen one. Yeah. And it looked less than for, like, future WWE title run, but just never happened for whatever reason. Mm. Just fizzled out. Shame. I think him leave. well, he, I mean, absolutely him leaving WWE... Doing the rounds in TNA, um, I think he won their championship. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, most um, people do leave the TNA championships. That's true. Yeah. Delby Oates, first day there, champion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he used to work in WWE. I suppose Jack Swagger hasn't gone there and just won the championship. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Jack Swagger signed for a uh, MMA. Yeah, he's. He, yeah. yeah, I was going to bring that up actually. He signed for Bellator. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yeah. MMA. Yeah, good for him. Fair play to him. Yeah. You know what? He's he's clearly a good grappler. Mm. I mean, obviously, Jack Swagger was an amateur wrestler before he was ever Jack Swagger in WWE. Very true. So, uh, wish him all the best. Yeah, absolutely. I used to, I used to quite like Jack Swagger, to be honest, when yeah, he was too. ECW Ooh. champion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. ECW in the loosest. <laughs> yeah, he, he was the uh, he was the WWE Velocity champion, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. God, that sucked. Yeah, it did. <laughs> but yeah, going back Boy, to the Young Bucks... Bullet Club. I mean, I think they'll all eventually turn up. Yeah, I think so. Uh, hopefully they'll do better than Kyle and some of the guys have done. Because um, right now, they're just kind of in the middle of just nothing. <laughs> like I'm nothing new. True. True. I think they've got such a buzz. I think Kyle Anderson and um, Festus came back in with <laughs> um, with like, with not a lot of buzz. Yeah. Because I, mean, I think they're overshadowed by AJ Styles because he came at the same sort of time. Yeah, and then Nakamura as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean... All to these two guys, yeah. But the the, <laughs> uh, the young books, or as Matt Hardy calls them, the books of youth. Oh yeah, <laughs> which I love. Yeah, that's very good. Um, they're 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 very hot on the indies right now, and their name is everywhere because all this cease and desist nonsense. <laughs> yeah. Um, because of a hand gesture for Christ's sake. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, you know, Cody Rhodes is making a buzz. Omega is making a buzz. So I mean, they're hot right now. Whereas with Anderson and Gallows, they weren't. Yeah. I mean, they, I'm sure they were. And, but you know they they again like you I think like you said they were overshadowed by Styles and Nakamura coming in yeah and yeah. they were just like they, because because they didn't I mean they did the club but yeah, AJ but, Styles just outgrew it so quickly in WWE he did yeah so he said five minutes and then okay I'm gonna go on to yeah. around and do my thing and WWE, WWE were like yeah we can't call you the Bullet Club so this really doesn't have any <laughs> momentum at all yeah it's a shame 
it, it could have been awesome. It could have Finn Balor coming there as well. Yeah, exactly. That'd yeah. been awesome, but but the problem maybe, is maybe they still will in the future. But who knows? Maybe. But the problem with that is it, it's almost the wrong time. Yeah. Because like when when Anderson and Gallows and and AJ Styles came in, Finn Balor was super hot. Like, yeah. He true. was you know a big face and selling shitload of merch and you know as the universal demon champion. and all that sort of stuff and he yeah. was the universal champion and th- there was no way they were going to pull a trigger on Finn Balor being a heel with the, with the club yeah it's true good point but I don't know, maybe one day we'll, uh, we'll we'll get to see it and they'll they'll really make a good go of it in WWE yeah hopefully That'd hopefully cool. hopefully hopefully fingers yeah. crossed uh, what else? <laughs> yeah, so Jack Swagger's now going to get beaten up for real. Yep. So that's good times. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? What else? Jinder Mahal has lost his championship. He did. In the UK. In the, uh, very strange, right? Yeah. Which is a uh, cool first time W title changed hand in the UK, um, which is cool. Uh, I think ticket sales in India have weren't doing so great, which is why they kind of abandoned the whole uh, Jinder Mahal thing. Mm. Um which is a shame. I did think it could have been better with better booking, as you know, as usual. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm happy AJ Styles is champion as he deserves it. Uh, probably more for sure. Do you? I really feel at this point the Survivor Series is incredibly rushed. Um, it is very random <laughs> looking down the card, but um, very good as well. At the same time, there's some some good matches in there. Yeah, looking for sure. But I just feel like it's they're like changing plans all the time. Because yes. obviously they had to change plans for the last pay per view because of this incredibly strange <laughs> meningitis virus thing that went around WWE. Yeah, everyone got sick. Reigns was out. Bray was out. Out. Bo-, Bo Dallas was out. Yeah, I'll call him Bo Dallas. Yeah, Need him. <laughs> <laughs> so it was very strange. So obviously they had to draft people in to play Roman Reigns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kurt Reigns. Yeah, yeah. Kurt Reigns, and Triple you've Reigns. had uh, Hunter Hearst Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, so that it's been it's been real crazy. Yeah. Um, we've had some releases in WWE. Yep, had a few. Uh, Emma's gone. Emma's gone. Talking me. Yeah. Surprising, uh, considering the people that are still there. Yeah, so strange. Um, like Dana's still there. Yeah, Dana sucks. Why she still? Dana <laughs> really sucks. Yeah. Like I, uh, I went to to a Raw show. Oh yeah. And like I was sat like dead front row. And you okay. could see Dana missing her punches, Ugh. like clear as day. Yeah. Everyone else was great. Dana comes in and she just sucks. Yeah, I don't get it. Like, then they release Emma, which is incredibly strange. Probably, even though she had a good match with Asuka the night before. Yeah. Weird. Very weird. Very weird. Um, who, else, who else went? Summer uh, Ray. Yeah, Summer Ray's gone. She didn't on TV for months. So no, that's fair guess. enough. I think that's probably a good decision. Uh, Damon Young, his, his push failed miserably. So I'll consider <laughs> coming as well. That's, that's kind. <laughs> yeah, failed yeah. Failed miserably, yeah. Um, I mean, make Darren Young great again. He was never great in the first place, really, exactly, was he? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> what was the point? It was just so weird, wasn't it? Like, Bob Backlund just randomly shouting at, at Darren Young. It's very strange. It wasn't bad. Yeah. Um, who else? Just uh, as today, actually. Oh, yeah, just now today. James Ellsworth has been released by WWE. Yes. Got to eight a bunch of finishes on tour in Europe. <laughs> by by ladies, women. Yeah, by women. Which is uh, it's, it's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, I thought he's going goodbye present, obviously. <laughs> yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for selling us a bunch of t-shirts and being a meme for uh, the last uh, few months. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I, I'm not surprised this has come. No, uh, I'm surprised it took this long to come. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be in the first place, but usually. I mean, Ellsworth was doing nothing really. No, it's come by this lapdog, which is kind of weird. Very, very weird. Just a bit weird. <laughs> WWE is so weird sometimes. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> Very yeah odd. He was like dressed as a rapper. <laughs> yeah, because he had come this like hat blingy and... stuff on. Yeah. Very strange. Yeah. I don't get it. But Is anyway, it? James Ellsworth is gone and will not be missed. Yeah, not really. Yeah. I had something in my head that I wanted to, to talk about. Oh, Triple H in the Indies. Oh, yeah. So you have an ICW. So yeah, I know it seems like we're throwing out a bunch of random wrestling stuff that's happened, but so much has happened in the last month. Yeah, it's so crazy. We, we're just uh, we're just trying to talk about it all before we uh, get into our NXT and Survivor Series predictions. Yes. So yeah, uh, obviously WWE uh, are promoting Pete Dunne as uh, the WWE United Kingdom Champion. Mm, very good. And Pete Dunne is obviously carrying that championship 
everywhere. Yes. Uh, on indie promotions around the country, so Progress and cool. uh, ICW and other places, and which is great. Yeah, very cool. It's so awesome. In 2017, that uh, somebody is carrying a WWE championship around the world. Yeah. And that WWE is even acknowledging wrestling outside of WWE. <laughs> yeah. That is right. impressive in itself. It is. That's very true. Because before, like, n- it was just not acknowledged. Yeah. I'm really curious how they're going to do the UK, um, WWE UK show. Were this yeah. going to have it be its own thing or it was going to be take place in other, like, companies? Like, maybe ICW and Progress and all that? Interesting. Yeah, I-, I think the original idea was to do a United Kingdom Championship program. Yeah. But I don't think the tapings went that well. Oh, right, okay. Because they, they did that first show in Norwich, the one that's on the WWE Network now. Mm. And, I mean, I think, it you know, it was a fine show. Yeah. But, you know, I didn't enjoy it when I watched it. That's but right. I think that was mainly to do with the way that the show was produced. And I think they had some problems on the day. Oh, right, yeah. Makes um, sense. Or over the over the weekend because it was shot over two days, so I think they're rethinking their strategy and they're going to go for it again. Yeah. Um. But I think it. I don't think there's any way they could possibly do it weekly. Yeah, it's a weird one. Um. Maybe they could do it like NXT and film a few at once. I mean yeah, that that for me seems doable. Yeah, that would work. Especially if you're using the same core of wrestlers. You know, just to start with. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously you've got Pete Dunne, you've got Trent Seven, Tyler Bate, uh, Mark Andrews, Joseph Connors. You know, all those guys that tend to just turn up in WWE yeah, every yeah. now and then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you could do, like, you could do, like, a, a night's worth of tapings like NXT does and then have them on WWE Network True. over the course of a month. Yeah, that'd be cool. It's just whether they are happy to pull the trigger on it and spend the money on it, I guess. Oh, that's interesting. There's definitely the market for it in the UK. Oh, for sure. I mean, for sure. I'd, you know, I would go to uh, WWE UK Championship yeah. TV taping. Me too, yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it would. Yeah, those guys are great. Yeah. Um, um, Pete Dunne is doing us proud. He is. He's great. It's he's going to be a complete character. superstar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's, he's just got it written all over him. Yeah. He's just awesome. So good. Super quiet in real life. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because he was kind of a quiet person. Yeah. So yeah. I met him at download and I said hello to him and shook his hand. But I then asked for a photograph with him. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's not like Trent Seven, who's like the most outgoing person of all time. Oh, yeah. I bet. But Pete Dunne is like super quiet. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, I also want to talk about something that I've noticed um, over the last couple of weeks. Um, Ricochet. Oh, yeah. Has been tweeting about and liking a lot of WWE stuff on social media. Hmm. Um, I mean, he's one of these outspoken gobshite wrestlers <laughs> on the internet, right? If you you know, if you know, don't know who Ricochet is, just type in Ricochet and Will Ospreay and 173 different videos will come up <laughs> of them doing backflips and stuff. Yeah. Um, the rumour is um, he is due to debut in WWE at some point. Yeah, I've heard that. The Royal Rumble was touted. Um, in my opinion, I don't think he's a big enough name to make a massive impact in WWE straight away. Yeah, he's no AJ Styles. No. For sure. <laughs> he had, he, and he's no Kenny Omega either. Yeah, yeah. Like those two guys, they're big time players. I mean, Ricochet, people know who he is. Oh, yeah. I mean, he played uh, Prince Puma in Lucha Underground. Yep, that's true. And he's known now for the... the the flippy matches with Will Ospreay. Yep. <laughs> no, don't get me wrong. I'm not slating it. He's he's a talented guy. Oh, yeah, for sure. And somebody I would be very excited to see in WWE. Mm-hmm. He'd have to switch his style up because there's be. no way they can do that every week in WWE. Yeah, that'd be rough. But if he's going to debut at the Royal Rumble, that means he's going to bypass NXT. And <laughs> the, I fear the worst for him if he does that because he'll get he'll either get shoved on 205 Mm. Or just lost in the shuffle because he's not a heavyweight. Yeah, I don't know. He's a cruiserweight. He is. Yeah, he's, they're, they're, he's, I think they are trying to make two or five work because I think I can't remember who it was. There's someone else in the room to, to turn up on the two or five. Uh, it's Rockstar TNA. Spud. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah, Rockstar Spud's contract with TNA has expired and he's been released from there. Yeah. And he has signed with WWE. Oh, cool. But they were just sort of sorting out last minute things like visas and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which won't be an issue because Rockstar Spud has obviously worked in America for a long time. Now. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, 
Talented dude as well, Spud. Oh yeah, it's very good. Um, we'll make a. We'll definitely make a difference to two hundred five. He'll bring something different there. Um, yeah. If he's given a chance to work, yeah, in TNA sure. was very much a. Uh, uh, at least for a lot of his run, from what I saw, he was very much sort of a comedy type character. Yeah. But behind that, he's very, very talented. He won the first TNA British boot camp and for uh, good reason. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, I mean, I think w- I think 205 Live is already tainted. Is a bit, yeah. They didn't, didn't have a good start. It started off very, um, like, nobody really cared about it. It's like, uh, it was on after SmackDown. Everyone, the crowd had already, like, died down after SmackDown. I uh, just wanted to go home at that point. It's like, oh, yeah, got more wrestling, yeah. That's <laughs> it. These guys we don't know, yeah. Yeah. Please but, cheer uh, for, uh, <laughs> please, please cheer for Cedric Alexander, who you've never heard of before uh, the Cruiserweight Classic. Yeah. But, mate, we're at the SmackDown TV taping. We ain't <laughs> even watched the Cruiserweight Classic. Yeah. We're, we're casual fans. We t- tune in every week. It's just, it's just, but, you know, like after the Cruiserweight Classic and obviously TJP won and everyone was so excited about the Cruiserweight title. Yeah. But, but it not everybody yeah. watches that stuff on the WWE Network. Yeah. People, I say this all the time, but people still don't watch NXT. <laughs> yeah, I know. Great Why would they be watching the Cruiserweight Classic with people yeah. they've never heard of? Exactly. It's like, it's just, just been thought of as an afterthought, afterthought really, hasn't it? And it's a shame because it deserves better. I think... um Hideo Tommy is going to be on there as well soon. That was the other one, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. So, interesting. It could could it get better. I hope it does get better. But uh, right now, yeah, not so much. End of the They need to take <laughs> it away from um, the big arena and put it at full sale, like would, they yeah, do for purpose. NXT. Yeah. Because then you've got the perfect platform. You'll have a crowd that care about uh, the matches that they're having. Yeah, exactly. And, well, you'll have a, a crowd that are interested for a start. <laughs> yeah. And, I don't know, it would just be better. I think you'll be giving it to the audience that it's intended for. Yeah, exactly. Take it off Raw. doesn't need to be on Raw. There's no point. No, it doesn't need to be on Raw. Yeah. No, because it's, Raw gets... <laughs> between Braun Strowman, The Miz, and The Shield, The no one cares about the Cruiserweight division. Exactly, yeah. It's so, pointless. Waste of a... Give it its own show. Not- make it like NXT. Have it tour with NXT when NXT goes on the road. Make mm-hmm. people care about it that way because then... I mean, you could even have it on NXT if you really had to. Yeah. And just put the Cruiserweight division in there. I mean, NXT has time for a, uh, the, the, well, the other singles championship. Yeah, yeah, true. That could work. But for me, take it away from SmackDown, uh, sorry, a Raw and then the big arena after SmackDown. Put it in full sale. Have these stars come in. Yeah. I mean, have, you know, Ricochet would be awesome. Yeah, it would. That'd be cool. Uh, and then you got Hideo doing something good because he's never going to win the NXT title true at this point you know Spud and I've read how mm. true it is I don't know <laughs> is that uh, WWE and Neville have come to terms oh, the same thing and yeah are on the same page now yes and Neville will soon be returning to TV hopefully I hope that's true is only a good thing yes absolutely speaking of pages uh, <laughs> Paige was supposed to uh, return this week and more yeah but apparently he's had some sort of backstage heat because he was sharing like Instagram photos of her backstage and WWE was like, you're supposed to be surprised, you're not supposed to share this shit, even though all you know, all you know is. Oh, <laughs> that girl. She's an idiot. <laughs> she, I mean, from what I read, she was supposed to be the fifth member of Raw. Yeah. Uh, obviously the women's team, not taking place of Jason Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's Although, about. I'd rather see that. Yeah. Yeah. And that, she just fucks things up for herself. She does. She's not, she's not the biased. At least uh, she's split with Dario now, apparently. Actually, for how long? Who knows? Yeah. Oh dear. God. Crazy person. Anyway. Anyway. That we've covered a month's worth of wrestling news in nearly <laughs> half an hour. We have. We did it. As random as it was, <laughs> we'll we'll try and give that some better order going forward. Yeah, yeah. But we'll we're just out. excited to be back. Yeah, we are. Oh dear. NXT Takeover Houston. Houston is this coming weekend. It is indeed. War Games. Hmm. Weird match. <laughs> uh, why, why, I, why have they it back for the NXT? <laughs> exactly. I don't know. Uh, yes. I, to, but with that said, I would rather it be on NXT than True. them have it and it be shit on the main yeah, roster. A fair point. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> because with NXT, you, you just sort of have that thing in the back of your mind, well, oh, it's on NXT, so yeah, it's, it's probably yeah. going to be really good. It's probably going to be fine, yeah. And the guys they've got working the match, it's like, 
oh yeah, there's no way this can be shit. Exactly, yeah. It's so, going to be fine. What we can do is we'll... So if you've never listened to our podcast before, what we do is we run down the matches on each card, talk mm-hmm. about the match a little bit, then we give our predictions. Yes. Um, and then at the end of the year, the um, sort of loser of the predictions over the course of the year has to do a forfeit. Yes. What we'll do is we'll carry our predictions over from the Games and Graps podcast Damn it. and carry them into uh, the Graps cast. <laughs> That's fine. And push on from there. That's, that makes sense, yeah. So, so, so far, the uh, current standings are Sunny with 12 points and Finn, aka me, with 10 points. So I'm um, two points ahead. You are. Going into this weekend, we've got two big events. Yes. There's a good chance for Finn to claw it back and draw level. Hopefully. I need it. <laughs> you do need it. <laughs> um, so we said the bet... The fourth it would be to uh have to play do a playthrough of Bubsy 3D on Daydream Gaming. Yeah, uh, it's probably one of the worst games of all time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, that's the current current best. Maybe as well to make wrestling relevant to watch like a bad pay per view, like some shitty TNA pay per view or something. Sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're in there. Plenty of Dross WCW stuff on the WWE Network. Oh, yeah, so, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, we could uh, we we'll, could do that. We'll find something. Yeah, maybe review yeah. it for podcast. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, for sure. Cool. So what we'll do, we'll run down the card for NXT TakeOver Houston War Games. Okay, okay. And yeah, give our predictions. Cool. Let's do that. So got a card in front of me. Um, first match I have on here is a uh, slightly last minute going to get a match of uh, Cassius Ono versus Lars Sullivan. Yeah. Um, the truth is when it first Lars Sullivan, it felt like. Because it's been like a beast. It's been non-stop, just dominating everyone. Yeah. Um, and I think Cassius Ono is at that point in his career where he's just happy to be back in WWE. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think he's doing some training and stuff like that with some of the younger guys, which is great because he's obviously a super talented dude. Oh, yeah. Um, and yes, Lars Sullivan is enormous and young and... Green as hell. Green <laughs> as hell. But some somebody that WWE would very much look to building a future around. Uh, yes, Lars Sullivan versus Braun Strowman, for example. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so for that reason alone, I'm going for Lars Sullivan. Yeah, I feel bad for Ono, because as you say, he's a very talented guy and he's kind of been on the losing end a lot of the time. But uh, He has, but I don't think he's back in WWE for that sort of reason. Yeah, it's more the making the guys look good, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give Lars a well because it's because, as you said, it makes sense. He's a monster there. Yeah. I just want to push him to be the next big guy. So, yeah, Lars Sullivan. Yep. For sure. Uh, so then we've got uh, the Fatal 4-Way uh, women's match for the vacated uh, NXT women's title. Yep. Uh, we have Kyrie Sane, the winner of the women's uh, May Young Classic tournament, uh, versus Baton Royce versus Ember Moon versus Sanity's Nikki Cross. The, you know what? This is a tough one to call. It is, actually, yeah. Um, personally, I would love to see Peyton Royce win it. <laughs> Peyton would be a cool one. Because uh, I love Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Like, yeah, I like him too. Like some people hate them, um, but Peyton Royce is a ridiculously talented in-ring wrestler. Yeah, he's good. And yeah, I I think I love her as well. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's a good-looking lady. Yeah, she is. Yeah, and she does a beautiful bridge on her fisherman suplex. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, um, <laughs> Kyrie saying I don't know a lot about I. Didn't watch the May Young Classic. I Boo. sort of lost a little bit of interest in it. Is any hate being confirmed? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'll it there a little bit. Yeah. Um, I didn't watch it. I, it didn't. It didn't capture me. That's fair. Did you watch it all? I did actually. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was pretty good. It's a bright, bright match. Actually, I wasn't betting too much, but uh, I did like it. Yeah. I like Kyrie Sane a lot. She's she's cool. She's cute. I like her. She's interesting. Yeah. She's a very anime type she's very anime (laughs) yeah she walked around with a a like a pirate ship wheel oh yeah she has like a pirate hat and stuff it's cool I like it yeah so and then you've got Nikki Cross and Ember Moon who in my opinion are probably both overdue Mm. a a championship run yep yep so either or could win could win it yep I think anyone could win it realistically realistically yes I agree I mean all signs point to Kyrie Sane as she won the Mayon Classic and they yeah. seem to uh, have a little bit of focus on her. True. <laughs> I'm going to go for Peyton Royce. I think they're going oh, to... I, I, and if Peyton Royce doesn't win, then the two of them will turn up in the main roster. 
Uh, true. That's what. Uh, Jesus, got words out. That will probably happen. You're right. Um, I'm only going for Kaiba Zane because, as you said, there's a lot of vocal on Kaiba Zane. Mm-hmm. See him on the tournament. It's just great. <laughs> and yeah, Kaiba Zane. Just great. I mean, I if she it. doesn't win it, it's not a tragedy because <laughs> she won the um, she won the the tournament, of course. True. So she's still looking very strong, and she could probably feud with whoever wins the championship anyway. Oh yeah. So sure. if it's Ember or Nikki. And, you know, if Peyton and Billy do go to the main roster uh, to be the new Bella Twins. Yeah, pretty much. Then, you know, Kyrie's, you know, the women's division still looks bright. Hmm. I would just love to see uh, Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, you know, have a run as, because they'll they'll both have that championship. Oh, yeah, You know, they'll play on that. Uh, And I I would just like to see them do that because I think they've, they've gone from nobody really cares about these people to... Yeah, like extras. Big time, yeah, like extras to, you know, big time NXT players. Like, they've, yeah. they've really worked hard to get where they are now. And for that reason, I would like to see Peyton Royce win. Cool. I would too. Well, until we get with Kyrie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then we've got uh, Alistair Black, Velveteen Rev- Rev- Dream, who have been feuding on NXT. Uh, I like it. Yeah, me too. I like Velveteen Rev- Dream more than I thought it would. Me too. Uh, I never thought it would work. No, same. It's gone from being, um, what the hell was his name? Patrick uh, Clark. Patrick Clark, that was it. Super, super generic America. I love America. Look at me. Look out to a fair man wrestler. Yeah. Um, guy to just a completely outlandish, um, insane character, which he's gone all in in. Which is oh uh, yeah. I mean, he is taking the ball and and just completely round with yeah, it. He's, he's great. He's, he's 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 a talented dude. I like him. Yeah. I mean, me it was weird when he when that when that Velveteen Dream character did debut and he was still called Patrick Clark. Oh really? And then they <laughs> took him off TV. And then they were like, Velveteen Dream debuts next week or whatever, and uh, it was Patrick Clark, and it was like, well, we knew it was going to be Patrick Clark. <laughs> we've already seen the character. Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll pretend we didn't. Yeah, it's yeah. Fine. Uh, but I like that he's feuding with Alistair Black because they're polar opposites. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Makes sense. And I think it's very cool. Hmm. Do I think he'll win? No. Nah, Alistair's too good. Uh, I think <laughs> Alistair Black mental. has an incredibly bright future. Oh, yeah. Um, he'll win the NXT Championship soon. Yes, very soon. Very soon. Um, I can see him being the face that will take on um, Adam Cole when he uh, ev- Baby. eventually wins that championship. Oh, uh, yeah. That'd be cool, actually. Yeah. I'll be down with that. Um, but, yeah, I think Alistair Black will win. But um, I think Velveteen Dream has won over a lot of fans. Mm. Yes, definitely. With this feud. For sure. I just loved it when... Um, it was, it was a few weeks back now. Alistair Black was sort of uh, doing his like cross-legged sit-down thing in the middle of the ring. Oh, yeah. And the Velveteen Dream slid under the bottom rope right oh, in his face. Oh, yeah. And the crowd were like, oh, oh, it was wicked. I thought yeah. that was really, really cool. Very cool. I like a lot. He's got like this sort of gold dust 1996 mm. heel heat about him. Yeah, yeah. It's very cool. Yeah. Very uh, relevant as well. I like it. Yeah. Good work, NXT. Uh, what have we got next? Oh, yeah. We've got... Uh, the NXT title match, so of course, uh, Drew McIntyre versus Andrade Cien Almas, who is, isn't in 2K18. Yeah, he's not in <laughs> WWE 2K18, but last of it's going to be DLC, so that's good. Makes sense. Um, Why isn't he in it? I, it makes no sense. It's so dumb. I was looking for him. I was thinking, they've got loads of people from NXT here. Drew McIntyre's going to be DLC. Great. They've got the new belts. Okay, this is good. I'm going to be Andrade. Where's Andrade? <laughs> he's not here. Oh, right. Okay. So dumb. Because that's that's ridiculous. It's, he's been around for ages and he's still not... Uh, <laughs> I just I think there's no explanation for it. It's, it's really not. It's like, it makes no sense. Uh, I can sell as well. Don't buy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or buy it when it's on sale. Yeah, buy it was like super cheap. Buy it second hand, wasn't it? Yeah. So anyway, Drew McIntyre is not dressing for us. We didn't talk about video games anymore, remember? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wrestling video games are fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's 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 Because it's, it's, it's still relevant. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> so, uh, who, who we got? Who, who's doing cinema in this? Personally, I would like to see Andrade win because I think he's doing. I think he's doing quite well now. I think yeah. the uh, is it Selena Vega is that her name? Yeah, yeah. She's awesome. I think having her by his side has really lifted him. Yeah, because I I don't think he's he's uh, does he speak American English whatever? I think he does. Um, just about. Just about. Yeah, yeah. she's she's like his Paul Heyman. Pretty much, it works. Yeah, it works really well. Um, I don't think. They're ready, maybe, to take the belts off Drew just yet. 
Yeah, exactly. What I am thinking, however, is Drew loses it at the NXT TakeOver the night before the Royal Rumble. Oh, yeah. And then Drew McIntyre debuts in the Royal Rumble. Uh, that could be cool. That'd work. That'd be cool. Mm. But yeah, Drew McIntyre, I think, wins this. Oh, yeah, same. Uh, too early to take off Drew. Just I think yet, so. I think. Have you enjoyed Drew being back in NXT? Have you enjoyed his run? Yeah, been cool. I don't like his finisher. It's just another, yet another kick. It's crap, isn't it? Yeah, everyone does a kick. Yeah, everyone just do the kick. DDT. Exactly, yeah. The Future Shock DDT, it's great. Yeah. He, does, he does do it, like a, like a signature move. Yeah. It's not his finisher. It's well, weird. It should be the other way around. I agree. Yeah, press triangle when you've got the F <laughs> for the running kick. Yeah, then when yeah. you've got the F, press triangle to do the Future Shock DDT. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Doing it with certain language I can understand. Exactly, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, No, I agree, because like, everyone's finisher is a kick. It really bugs me. It's like, it's like Daniel Bryan had that same kick. Yeah, that and like, kick. Uh, well, looks strong as a kick. Yeah. He's, he's a backbreaker guy, but he's finished with a kick. Yeah. Makes sense. The master of the backbreaker, but yeah, he's finished as a kick. Yeah. So dumb. Because that makes sense, right? Yeah. So like, kick one knee, like Seth Rollins' just knee. Um, that sucks. I still hate it. Yeah, me too. The thing is, if Omega um, comes in, they're going to have to change that. Yeah, because, yeah. Or Omega has something different when he comes in. Maybe. Who knows? Um, yes, but just bring back the curb stomp. That was awesome. Yeah, it's not dangerous unless you make it dangerous. <laughs> yeah, unless you actually kick someone in the head. Dumbass kids are doing curb stomps on each other. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, just don't do that. <laughs> you can get injured doing any wrestling move if you are not a professional wrestler. Exactly, yeah. You can, uh, it's dumb. Yeah. Like, DDT is the most dangerous thing you can do. You're like, that's fine. Everyone does DDT. Yeah. <laughs> kick people in the face, that's fine. Yeah. But no, you can't curb stomp. Yeah. Dumb. Don't do that. Anyway, then of course the main event, which will be the War Games match against Sanity, all three members. Uh, versus the Undisputed Era, crap name, Adam Cole, baby, um, uh, Bobby Fish, and other one. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> uh, Kylo Riley. That's it, thank you. Got to write it. God damn it, super brain. Versus, <laughs> <laughs> versus the Authors of Pain with What Looks Wrong. Weird team, but whatever, it works. Sure. Um, you know how I see this going? How's that? Roderick Strong turns heel, Undisputed Era win. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, definitely. Because th- I mean, they're all ROH guys. True, but what the strong put on the armband last week, I think, see, last week, um, and then took it off again, threw it at him and beat him up, and that was the whole thing. That's Wait, this is match. wrestling. True. Big Show always yeah. wears a Raw t-shirt, and then when it comes to it, he <laughs> takes his t-shirt off and he's got a Smackdown t-shirt under there. That's very true, yeah. <laughs> Put John Cena in the head. Yeah. Good point. I think Roderick Strong turns heel, and I think um, that only makes that unit stronger going forward. Yes, it's a core cool team. I like it. Even though I can't remember half the names. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Um, still going on this video. Um, the authors of pain and Roderick Strong is a weird team anyway. It, it just is. screams turning on them. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, that's very true. Um, is this for the tag team titles, by the way? I don't think it is, is it? Because it's a three team, three man team. Uh, I don't think it's for the tag team titles. No. I, I, no, it can't be. No. Because what if Roderick Strong pins? Do, does him and one of the authors of pain be the tag team <laughs> champions? This is, yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, it's got to be on this video, hasn't it? it? Makes sense. It's got to be. Yeah, well, this is like the their new... first takeover, like as having matches. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're the big draw in NXT right now, one hundred percent. Oh yeah. Like Adam Cole, Bebe is the uh, is the is the big acquisition for NXT. Oh yeah. So if they don't win, I'd be very surprised. Yeah. Good point. Good point. I don't think what's wrong with John Hill though. At least I not do, yet. I do. I mean, it makes sense. And why would you team with lots of pain? I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're probably right. You probably will turn him. I just think he will. I mean, I, I know after sort of they did those Roderick Strong vignettes of him sort of uh, like when he was sort of building up to his title match with Bob, uh, Bobby Roode. Yeah. They were very high on him and there was a lot of positive reaction for him. Yeah. It just makes sense for him to be part of the bigger picture and if the bigger picture is the Undisputed Era terrible name going forward, <laughs> then... Yeah, do that. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Crap music as well. Sorry? Crap music as well. With the Undisputed Era? Yeah, yeah. yeah Roderick Strong's got hoofy music. He does, actually. That's yeah. yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Adam Cole is tiny as well. Maybe. Um, <laughs> it's a skinny guy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's really small. Mm. Yeah, it could work. Sure. It works. I'm okay with it. Oh, you missed a match out. Did I? I don't know if you saw this was announced or not, but uh, um, the WWE UK Championship is going to be on the line. Oh, really? Pete Dunne mm. versus... Oh. That well-known Englishman, Johnny Gargano. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, really, yeah. 
I guess the, the UK title online. Yep. Yeah, damn it. It's a US title all over again. <laughs> <laughs> and a European title. And a Villa title. <laughs> um, that's really dumb. But that will be a good match. Oh, yeah, it'll be a good match. <laughs> um, I think Champa will come back. Is he Ooh. ready or? Probably. It's got to be right now, surely. Yeah, shoehorn him into the card and, you know, have Tommaso Champa come back and carry on that feud. Yeah. Have Pete Dunn win. That'd be awesome. Keeps I am. the championship. I am. Because why would you okay put it on an American? Yeah, it makes no sense. Versus Johnny Gorgon. Uh, versus Sonny, I can't spell his name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pete Dunn, obviously. He's going to win. Not gonna, they're not going to put the US guy. No. <laughs> no way. No, this just screams, right, Tommaso's ready to to come back yeah uh, get Gargano on the card uh, to be honest they'll put on an incredible show oh yeah for like, sure that'll be G- awesome yeah. like, I'm already the most excited for that <laughs> yeah me too it's pretty bad <laughs> everything, everything else on the ground literally found out about it 30 <laughs> seconds ago and it's like that's gonna be just gonna be so awesome <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> oh, good awesome look forward to that yep and that's it for uh, NXT War Games yeah that's gonna be good man I'm really looking forward to it I love the NXT takeover cards anyway it was amazing so, uh, so this will be this will be no different definitely um, so that brings us to uh, Survivor Series. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a weird card, but decent. A very strange card. It just feels like they've made it up as they've gone along. Pretty much, yeah. Um, yeah. So many changes. So it's like there was a leaked poster which had originally like uh, Les- Brock Lesnar versus Jinder Mahal with John Cena as a special guest referee. Um, and no one, <laughs> no, nobody, wants to, nobody wants to see Jinder Mahal versus Brock Lesnar. So- <laughs> and now I can, I'd like, I mean, as soon as I saw that, I was like, there's no way they're going to keep that. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I just wanted Jinder to win so bad. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I was just, I was just thinking, I would love it if they pulled the trigger and Jinder just won. <laughs> That'd be so good. The class and just won. It'd yeah. be brilliant. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be so good. Yeah, to beat Braun Strowman and everyone else, it's like, oh, it's Jinder Mahal beaten. Yeah, like that'd be clean. brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> I'll sell you tickets in India. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, the, uh, what yeah. I heard is that Brock Lesnar basically said that nobody wants to see this crap. It's right. Give me somebody better. I mean, AJ Styles is a, an easily a, a w- more worthy opponent oh, yeah. than Jinder, but um, I just, I wanted to see Jinder win. That would have been amazing. If I have, have it for the titles as well. Just have him have both belts. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, WWE. Just yeah, to see universe. the reaction on the internet. <laughs> yeah, just everyone melt down. Because, well, like, we're, we're, like, I mean, yeah, we're marks, <laughs> but we're not like other marks. No, so we like to be uh, Jinder Mahal as champion. Yeah, well, this, we, 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 you know, we, <laughs> we watch it and, yeah, we slate it and question some of the decisions, but we just accept it now because we can't change it. Yeah. Just like marks on the internet can't change it. Exactly. <laughs> but I see Facebook pages and stuff moaning all the time. Like I saw one today post a petition about <laughs> booing, still keep keep booing Roman Reigns because, uh, you know, just because he's in the shield doesn't make him better and blah, blah, blah. It's like, get a get fucking life. Yeah, who cares? No one's going to sign his shit petition. Yeah. Ugh, so dumb. Stupid people. Yeah. And like people moan on the internet like, oh, Jinder sucks. Why is Jin- Jinder's a jobber and all this sort of stuff? Well, Jinder's a champion. He's yeah. not technically a jobber anymore. He yeah, wins got... on every house show. He wins on every SmackDown. Yeah. He wins at every pay-per-view. De- look up the definition of jobber <laughs> in the wrestling dictionary, which I'm sure there is one. Probably. And you will, you know, Jinder is now the opposite of that. Yeah. Like, yeah, he, he wins all the matches. That means... Like, how, how, how else are we going to get someone over into the main event? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, like, yeah, yeah. Once upon a time, he was a jobber. So was Drew McIntyre. Yeah. If you Mac- all love Drew. Yeah, if Drew McIntyre came back tomorrow and won the WWE Championship, you'd love it. Exactly, yeah. So, a shrug. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Bloody internet. <laughs> Not anyway. you guys, though. You guys are great. Wink. Yeah, you, you, you guys who listen to us, you, you're awesome. Yeah. You, you, you're ex- you it's are, just the others. Yeah, you're excluded automatically by listening to this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're a Mark and, you know, you listen to this, that's fine. You're excluded. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> you, you've uh, redeemed yourself by listening to this podcast. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Survivor Series. Survivor Series. <laughs> we have the first match on there. The kickoff show is uh, Kalisto versus Enzo Amore yet again. What a great title. Yeah, they've, they've mistreated the Cruiserweight Championship, a in my bit. opinion, recently. I mean, since... Um, so, Neville... Lost it to Enzo. In the cruiserweights. Uh, Neville went AWOL. Yep. Walked threw off. his toys out of his pram and buggered off for a little while. Mm-hmm. Enzo then lost it to Kalisto, then won it back from Kalisto. Yes. And now we're having the next match in this series that nobody really gives a shit about. Re-re-rematch. <laughs> the re-re-rematch. Yes. Um, 
So Enzo is currently the champion. Yes. Losing track, as well as the will to live with the Cruiserweight Championship. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I do like the team with him and Drew Gulak. It's good to go. I like Drew Gulak. He's hilarious. I like Drew Gulak, yeah. <laughs> He's like like a nerdy guy. He's trying to fit in with uh, Enzo. Yeah. yeah. Like S-O-F-T. Soft. Like, <laughs> so good. <laughs> so, Drew's a genuinely talented wrestler as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you, did you see that thing on WGG channel, like Halloween? <laughs> Drew Gulak dressed up as Sasha Banks. Just <laughs> <laughs> just rain Sasha Banks clothes. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, it's like oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see it. It was so funny. I like Drew. I like yeah, Drew Gulak. He's hilarious. Um, I see Enzo winning. Oh, yeah, and keeping will. the championship, and yeah. I see the return of Neville. That'd be amazing. Please happen. <laughs> and please take that belt off him. <laughs> yep. With a, he's made people watch. 205 Live, Mission Accomplished, take the belt away. Yeah, you can get rid of it now. Thanks. Because I found now that Enzo's promos don't end. Yep, there's gone forever. God, they had one, not last week, but the week before on War. This is the worst promo I've ever had. Yeah, Just and Corey Grace was on and on talking over him. Yeah, exactly. Just, what the hell? He was like, why so is he bad. still talking? Like, yeah. so, it almost felt like like what Corey Grace was saying was a shoot. Yeah, and it was almost. like, is this for real? Like, somebody stop his mic. Because Enzo was... Waffling and waffling and waffling. I couldn't even tell you what he's talking about. Just yeah, uh, nonsense. You just, just lose interest like, so quickly. Yeah. Like, he's talking about something, you think, yeah, okay, this is fine. And then the crowd are baiting him. <laughs> like, I think someone shouted, I think, I think it might have been when they were in the UK. Oh, yeah. And they were chanting Neville, and he was saying, yeah, I made him go away or whatever. But I think it flustered him, and he just kept waffling. And Corey Graves was like, what is going on? Why has he still got the mic? Why has yeah. nobody cut him off? And then very quickly, he was cut off by Kurt Angle, so <laughs> thank goodness. Um, that's when Pete Dunne they they botched yeah. that actually. As oh, well. they did, yeah, because they played his entrance theme and then Kurt Angle came out. I feel, I feel like the backstage played basically played Kurt Angle movie first and then bring out Kevin Dunne. Yeah, I know that was weird. They shouldn't have. They just shouldn't have had Kurt Angle come down at all. Yeah, when, yeah. when they fucked it up, they should have just sent Pete Dunne out because the pop would have occurred either way. Oh yeah, people know who Pete Dunne is in the UK. Yeah, yeah, he's our champion. If exactly. we didn't know who he was, I'd be so concerned. Exactly. <laughs> Something I didn't like actually on Two Five Live that UK guys. Yeah, I know. But, and Enzo beat um, Tyler Bate clean. It's like, no, Tyler Bate is a super talented wrestler, and Enzo Amore is Enzo Amore. That shouldn't be happening. <laughs> yeah, so dumb. Uh, but yeah, Enzo's gonna win. Keep the title, and hopefully never will come back and yep. take it back off him. I think so. The, the problem is, uh, ne- um, Enzo's obviously supposed to be the heel here. Enzo, and but Neville was a heel when he left. Oh yeah, he's gonna get a huge pop when he comes back. Oh yeah. Hope but we, I think that's going to be the, the the problem anyway. True. But what else? I, need, I, just, want, I just want Neville back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm glad they've come to some sort of agreement. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so then we got uh, the first match on well, my list, not necessarily on the card. The first match on here is uh, The Miz versus Baron Corbin, which have had very heated exchanges via the internet. Uh, they have. Uh, I have to be honest... I'm so disappointed that it is Baron Corbin that's going <laughs> into this. And not Sin Cara. And not Sin Cara, because for a minute, I genuinely <laughs> thought that we were going to have Sin Cara as the United States champion. <laughs> and I would have marked out so badly for yeah, it. Yeah, same. I'm waiting for that Sin Cara t-shirt. He seems to be working his way up the card at the minute. He does, yeah. He had a good showing uh, the week before when he's like beating the crap out of Baron Corbin because yeah. he started to take off his mask. That was awesome. Like the inner, letting out the inner ultimate fighter, but we all know he's there. Oh, we know <laughs> it is there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Baron Corman doesn't want to be mouthing off to him and backstage. <laughs> Definitely not. Because he will get clipped. Yeah. You can be a boxing champion all you want, Baron Corman, <laughs> but if you come up against the ultimate fighter, you oh, are done, my friend. You've had it, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you think we could see Sin Cara win the championship, the U- the US championship, uh, at some point after Survivor Series? Um, it could happen, yeah. Because they seem to be carrying on with this, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Sin Cara's having good matches. Um, I think people get behind him. I like it, yeah. At least he's got a new mask, which is cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm down. Come on, bring that Sin Cara t-shirt out, WWE. I'll buy one. Yep, me too. I will absolutely <laughs> buy one. Yeah, for sure. We've come too far with this now to turn back on it. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we're just going to have to go for it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, the Miz. The Miz. Um, and Baron Corbin, yeah, they've been having some sort of uh, kayfabe online feud, at least I think it is. <laughs> yeah, I'll just tell this point. Yep. Um, They've both done a great job in promoting it, mm-hmm. which, you know, makes sense why Sin Cara didn't win on SmackDown. Yeah, because they have to have so much now. It'd be weird. It'd be ridiculous, it ridiculous, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I, I think the Miz will win. Interesting. Yeah, it's a tough one to call, isn't it? It is a really tough one to call. It's but these, these matches where it's like brand versus brand, they don't really matter because after Survivor Series, they won't be face off again. Yeah. It's like, who do you go with? 
I mean, Sin Cara versus The Miz obviously would have been way better, but... Oh, yeah, and Sin would have won, easily. <laughs> it is tough because Baron Corbin has had a, a mixed year. Yeah, he lost the uh, Million Bank briefcase, which is weird. Um, but then won the US title, which is good, I guess. And The Very Miz strange. has had that IC title for what seems like forever now. Yeah. And yeah. doesn't really seem to have done anything worthwhile with it recently. Yeah, he had a good one for a while, but recently, yeah, it's not been a whole lot. I hate the Mysteraj. I really hate it. I mean, it's it, it's funny. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I'm I'm pretty bored of it now. Yeah, I know you mean. Um, we about movies. I know it's pregnant, so we can't. Never mind. Yeah. So I th- I think <laughs> the Miz will win. Uh, although you could really make the case for both guys. Well, sure. I'll That's a real Cor- on the fence comment. I know, but <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go for Corbin. Just to be different and. Because I feel like Corbin has a bit more to gain than the Miz. Because the Miz is already like an established uh, Intercontinental Champion. Whereas Corbin's just kind of been flat around not doing a whole lot with the US title. Hey, come on now. Uh, except for beating Sin Cara, obviously. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think Corbin. Corbin's more to gain, I think. Okay. Uh, I think it's like a shock win out of nowhere kind of deal. Okay. I'll take that. Yeah. So that's all It'd be awesome if Sin Cara cost him the, uh, cost him the match. <laughs> That'd be cool, yeah. Because then be... we get Sin Cara on Survivor Series, which would be brilliant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I hope someone gets injured and Sin Cara has to step in as on the SmackDown team. <laughs> yeah. Like, could you imagine John Cena it. tagging in Sin Cara? Oh, it'd be so good. It'd be like the greatest <laughs> moment in WWE history, probably. <laughs> probably, yeah. Like, he does the attitude adjustment and Sin Cara does like his swanton bomb off the ropes. Yeah. This is... <sighs> <laughs> 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 V1 car up. Yep. <laughs> uh, so we've got uh, Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte Flair. Uh, Charlotte just winning the uh, SmackDown Championship that's uh, on SmackDown. Yep. Uh, you can you could tell that they just weren't keen on the heel because every title match was heel versus heel. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, so uh, I think they, that's the I mean that's clearly the reason they pulled the trigger on Charlotte winning. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, um. I don't know. This is again. This is a really tough one. These it interpromotion, is. well, interbrand matches, promotion, interbrand <laughs> matches are, are weird because you're right; they don't matter. Yeah. I would love Alexa Bliss to win. Me too. I think Charlotte will win. Same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because yeah, there but, was all, there was all that there was crying and stuff on SmackDown. Ric yeah, Flair, Flair was there, there and all this sort of stuff. So um, they'll keep playing on that and uh, for that reason Charlotte will win uh, yeah I agree um, we'd like, as you said Legs is great we'd like to see her win um, not a massive Charlotte fan I do think she's a bit boring sorry I think she is now yeah. but when she was a heel she was great um, yeah, I thought she was doing really good work both yeah. on the mic and in the ring but she's gone to Smackdown um, was she injured for a while can't remember maybe she was off TV for a while I think yeah yeah I'll probably with, with, oh, I'll be yeah, yeah. Yeah. of course um She's come back and she was like some. She was like a face, and that, in my opinion, doesn't work for her. Not so much, yeah. And it goes back to that thing that I always say: that if you're not a likable character, <laughs> being a face just doesn't work for you. I go back to CM Punk and mm. Seth Rollins. Only just about gets away with it because he's in the Shield. Yeah, yeah. And there's a few other people. Charlotte is one of them, and uh, like Baron Corbin couldn't be a face. Oh yeah, exactly. Too much of a dickhead. Same with the Miz. Yeah, the Miz had like a. Very brief face one back in the day, and um, everyone hated it. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was so bad. Dolph Ziggler, terrible face. Yeah, yeah. Awful. Um, <laughs> this is a list of people that just can't be faces. She's one of them. Um, so, I, yeah, I'm with you. I don't enjoy her um, current run. Yeah. I Could prefer be Alexa, but yeah, I think Charlotte will win. Yeah. Because Ric Flair. Because Ric Flair, pretty much. Uh, so we've got the uh, Shield. Versus the New Day. In a thrown-together match. Very thrown-together. Very last minute. But very cool at the same time. Very cool. I mean, when they announced it on Raw, I was like, ooh, yeah, I'm I'm very much into this. Yeah, yeah. And it sort of makes sense because New Day had nothing to do. Exactly, yeah. And they kept invading. (laughs) Like, you know, when you think about it now, it's like, why were they invading? Yeah, yeah. But now Smackdown it's all okay. I, I understand now. Yeah. So um, yeah, sense. we get so we get the Shield versus the New Day, and in no way do I see New Day winning. Uh, no, Shield, Shield are too hot right now. Shield too just hot. got back together. Roman Reigns is back with them. People are actually cheering Roman Reigns 
We'll yep. change. <laughs> that is exactly what WWE want. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. It's working, damn it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, can you see Xavier Woods pinning Roman Reigns? Uh, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but, no. But I like Xavier Woods. Uh, I'm in an up and down, down shirt right now, in fact. Um, yeah. But yeah, I can't see it happening. Sorry, no. Xavier. <laughs> yeah, so I, th- I think the Shield will win. I think it'd be a great match. Uh, but oh, yeah, yeah but there's only one winner. Yeah. Sierra Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta. Shield. Shield. Roman Reigns, Roman. music. Roman. 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 <laughs> uh, please cheer. Roman, please cheer. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's just funny. It's uh, almost like they like, brainwashed us into like, liking Reigns. <laughs> pretty much. We'll just pretend he's sick and then, then when he comes back, I'm going to bad for him, so I have to cheer him. Yeah. 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 It, it's worked. It Damn definitely it. has worked. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're mugs. We've been yeah. mugged off. We're the worst. The video is brainwashing has worked. <laughs> uh, so we've got uh, Zero and Seamus. Versus the Oos O's. Baby. Baby. Wait. No, wait. <laughs> ah. well, what was it? Uso Penitentiary. I'm lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, another one. This is going to be another good match as well. Uh, both teams. Very good. Very yeah, this will be awesome. Good really looking forward to it. Both forward. heel teams though. Yeah, interesting. But I think Uso's have been slightly more face these last past couple of weeks. Uh, good had like a, they shook hands with New Day after their good matches. But I don't want the, the Uso's to be faces. They're, again, as, as you said before, with like... Uh, uh, Charlotte Flair is like they're not great faces because uh, it's, it's like a heel team right now yeah I mean and, and they've done so well at it yeah when yeah when they were wearing the orange and they had the face paint and all that sort of stuff like yeah fine then that's fine for a little while yeah but then people booed got, you got so to. you turn you turn you turn heel and it's worked very well and now the fans are cheering you because they love heels <laughs> yeah and even doing good work yeah um and Se- Seamus and Cesaro are just working very well together. Oh, yeah. They're great. And I can, it, uh, you can see now why they took the belts off the shield. Oh, yeah. Just so they can beat New Day up. Pretty much. <laughs> um, Makes sense. I, I don't know who's going to win. I think I think the bar are too hot to lose to the Usos right now. Okay. okay. Um, they just seem to have so much momentum behind them. Like they've, they've been in all the main events. They were on the main event of Raw this week again, teaming with The Miz, taking on The Shield. True. Um, yeah, I just I just think they're too hot right now to, to lose. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for the I'm going to go for the bar. Okay, cool. I'm going to go for the Usos. Just be different. Very interesting and tasty looking matches on Survivor Series. Oh yeah, it's very cool. Whether they're thrown together or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you'll give it to Usos. Uh, Usos have been well, he's, he's been hot as well in the moment, right? Um, Though Dana had the word, uh, sort of injured, getting gay fame injured, uh, by Gable and, uh, Benjamin this week, sort of, or the past couple of weeks. Mm. So I complained to it, maybe. But, uh, I don't know, I think the user is going to win. Just to be different. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, if, um, if Benjamin and Gable would have won the championships, um, I, to me, right now, from a, uh, from a, from a, uh, experience standpoint, <laughs> like Gable and Benjamin, wouldn't stand a chance against Sheamus and Cesaro. Oh no, yeah. You know what I mean by that? Yeah, like, yeah. From a from an established tag team perspective, um, that's what they are now. They've got a name and everything. So, oh yeah, <laughs> and a t-shirt. So that's it now. They're they're a team. Yep. Um, they, they they just don't seem they're not at that level. Yeah, I know what I mean. They're very much at American Alpha level, and American Alpha wouldn't have beat Cesaro and Sheamus either. Exactly. Um, I do think uh Gable and Benjamin are turning heel because they did seem very heelish the past couple weeks. Like as they go down to the legs of the Usos. Mm. Um, good interesting. fine yeah that's fine I'm good fine with that interesting mm. um, so yeah you going for? I'm going for the Usos you're going to go for the Usos yeah it's a, a little tough one to call but uh, yeah it's the Usos just, just cars okay <laughs> just cars um, so we've got uh, the first of the uh, two 5-on-5 five five Survivor Series matches it's a women's match so it's uh, Elisa Fox Bailey, Nia Jax Asuka and Shazza Bax Versus Be- uh, Bay versus Becky Lynch, Carmella, Tamina, Naomi, and a yet unnamed person, uh, probably Natalia. Really? Or Paige? Because <laughs> hmm. it was originally going to be Charlotte, but then she won the title. So it's got to be Natalia, right? Well, you'd think so, yeah. That uh, makes sense, unless they do put Paige on SmackDown now. Yeah, could happen. Could happen. It's got. Be- Is it still unnamed even after SmackDown? It's yeah, still named as of now. Yeah. Be Natalia. It will be Natalia. 
Probably, that'd be kind of a boring reveal, wouldn't it? And I'll be the number is Natalia. Uh, uh, yeah, there'll yeah. be no possible reaction <laughs> for that at all. Yeah, yeah. If it's Paige, that'd be great. Yeah, the page would be huge. But uh, um, yeah, the winners of this match will be Raw. Yes. And the last person standing will be Oscar. Yes. <laughs> Simply because there's no way you're going to have Asuka be pinned or submitted just yet. Nope, no way. They, they'll they want to keep her undefeated for as long as possible. Yeah. You know, how shit would it be if she, she comes up from NXT after this massive undefeated streak, <laughs> gave up the title because she wanted a new challenge or whatever, she comes back and just loses at Survivor Series? That's garbage. <laughs> yeah, so That'd garbage. terrible. The only way I could see SmackDown winning is if Asuka's taken out like before the match or something, uh, or was injured or something like that. Fans will hate that crap. Yeah, they will. Um, but yeah, for that reason, we'll have a team more drill. <laughs> just because there's no way, no way that's going to lose. I mean, SmackDown's team is weak as well. Like, in comparison. Bit. Yeah, yeah. Like, Demina, eh, Carmella, yeah. Like, they haven't Becky Lynch, fair enough. But, uh, but yeah. like, person for person. So you've got, uh, Oscar and Becky. Right. Yep. So that one winner there. Yep. Um, <laughs> Alexa and who else? I mean, Nia Jackson, Tamina. Sorry to compare the two <laughs> bigger members of each team. Yeah. But, you know, that's what's going to happen. So, pretty much, no Nia's nice. better. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Carmella, I mean, she'd get her head knocked off by pretty much any one of those raw girls. Pretty much. So, so it's Oscar, Alexa, Nia, oh, Alicia Fox. Yeah, Alicia Sasha Fox. Banks. Okay, yeah. Wait, is Bailey not on there? Yeah, Bailey's on there. Oh, Bailey's on there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's not even a contest, is it for me? Uh, yeah, not really. There were some cheap crap eliminations in there somewhere. Probably. But uh, Oscar wins, not Team Raw. Yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, I'll ask you specifically. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, so we've got the men's fight and five match, which is, of course, Kurt Angle, Braun Strowman, Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, and Triple H. Jesus but Christ. That's quite a team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Versus Shane McMahon, John Cena, Randy Orton, Bobby Roode, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Also quite a team. Yeah, so so that is a incredibly star studded main event. For sure, yeah. And if that so match winner. sucks, something goes wrong. <laughs> something is really wrong. Yeah, seriously. Um I mean wow, come on. Insane. That's ridiculous. Um I, to, to be honest, I think Team SmackDown wins. Okay. Because to set up Triple H versus Kurt Angle ultimately going forward. Interesting. Um uh, Lol Cena wins. <laughs> Lol Cena wins, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Um I mean, this has been thrown together. This this has been a, a slight mess for me. It has a bit. Um, I think my prediction is going is Jason Jordan is going to cause uh, War to lose somehow. Like it's a uh, triple A's pedigree, Jason Jordan at the end of Raw. He did, and he's like begging Kurt not to keep up the team and all that. And I think Jason Jordan's going to turn heel. Uh, mm. Obviously, because it's pretty obvious at this point. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's either that or Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens cause SmackDown to lose because they abandoned SmackDown. Um, they're in the ring with New Day as the shield came down, and then it's hightailed out there. Yeah, and uh, so playing on this uh, thing of them maybe sort of getting sent home from tour. Yeah, yeah, and uh, maybe they'll go to war. Maybe after this, is Randy Orton on Team SmackDown? Uh, he is. Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. He, he wasn't, but he wasn't there during the invasion. It's gonna be asked to come down and help. So it's gonna now it's back. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go for Team SmackDown. Yeah. Okay. Me too. Yeah. I think Jason. I think Jason Jones interfering is more likely than Sammy and Owens interfering. Personally. Yes. Um. So yeah. Seems right now it's gonna win. I I also think uh, Owens and Sammy maybe get banished from SmackDown or something at some point, and then they head to Raw. But yeah. That makes sense. Um. Yeah. Okay. So that's. I mean, that is a ridiculous main event. I mean, <laughs> it's insane. Christ. I mean, look at the names you've got there. Yeah. It's John Cena, Randy Orton, Nakamura, Bobby Roode, Finn Balor, Braun Triple Strowman, H, Mojo, Triple H. Did he cut angle? I mean, it's insane. <laughs> that is a ridiculous main event. Yeah. I can see why they took out Jason Jordan because he did not fit in with that. <laughs> uh, no, not at all. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, that's, that's insane. I'm really excited to see it. Me too. I hope because, I mean, this match seems to have been rushed together mm. that it's not a rushed and crappy match. <laughs> yeah, not a mess of a match. I don't think it will be. No, I don't think it will be either. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I, I like Survivor Series because they treat it, they they treat it as a big pay per view, which it should be. Yeah, yeah. They treat yeah. it as a big deal. I mean, you've had cool stuff happen at Survivor Series Maybe. in recent years. I mean, Sting coming in that time. That was cool. Uh, which was awesome, and just other stuff. They treat it as a big deal, which they should, because it's one of the the long standing pay per views. I mean, what Survivor Series now? Twenty five years deep, nearly. Yeah, yeah, long time. Yeah, uh, maybe even longer. I'm not too sure, but. 
86, I want to say. Yeah. Can't remember. But I think Bob Bugatti said it on commentary. How shit is Bugatti on commentary, by the oh, way? Oh, awful, yeah. So bad. I hate I it. I'm not sure what's happened to Otunga. <laughs> I thought Otunga was supposed to be, like, once he was done <laughs> doing his film, he was just going to come back because Bugatti was temporary. Yeah. But Bugatti's still here. Yeah. And it's, it's garbage. It's worse than Otunga. Yeah. <laughs> I hate his, God, I love it. It's like, God, God, I love what? It. He's just yeah. made an entrance. Yeah. And I was just flip flops between Jason Jordan, liking Jason Jordan, not liking Jason Jordan. And like, oh, it's, it's so bad. I'll make your fucking mind up. Yeah. You yeah, sucks. Booker T really sucks. Everyone everyone thinks he sucks as well. It's not even like a uh, like a marks of the world thing. It's, <laughs> it's a everybody thinks Booker T sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you've gone for who have you gone for again, sorry? Well, it's SmackDown. You gone <coughs> going for Team Excuse SmackDown. Team SmackDown, yeah. I think Jason Jordan's gonna cause the uh, loss there. I think I I just think something's gonna happen between Triple H and Kurt Angle yeah. so that Team Raw loses somehow. Yeah. It's definitely potential for like breakdown. Like Finn Balance Mojo could uh, fight go against each other as well. Yeah. Um, which would be an awesome feud. Um, Ron yeah, Strowman could be. just turn against everyone because Ron Strowman. Yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I think, yeah, SmackDown's going to win that, I think. I mean, where's Kane? I mean, I know he got power yeah. on through the ring on Raw or whatever, but. Yeah, he's dead now. Rip. <laughs> yeah, rip. It's okay, dead. Let's be honest, though. Without fireworks, the entrance sucks. It does. It's you can, you can make the bang at the beginning of the music as loud as you want. <laughs> yeah, kaboom, yeah. Yeah, kaboom, <laughs> dude. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. They messed up the engine team as well. It's like we recorded it and made it worse. It's yeah. like, why? We'll just keep the old one. <laughs> yeah, the old one's fine. I'll just put more guitars in there. Yeah. So uh, weird. Dumb. Wrestling weird. Stupid wrestling. Stupid wrestling. <laughs> then we got one more match. We have, of course, probably the main event. Uh, Brock Lesnar versus AJ Styles. I actually forgot. <laughs> I don't mind him. Uh, uh, I don't know who wins. I can't uh, call yeah. it. I cannot call it. It's a hard one, for sure. Um... If Team SmackDown wins, mm. AJ Styles loses. Interesting. Okay, that's that, that's just because wrestling. Because wrestling, yeah. Because in the in the you know got to keep things, got to keep things fair. True. So Team Raw loses, but their their champion wins. Yes, yeah. So you're gonna go for uh, Brock Lesnar then by default. Yep. Cool. I would go for AJ. Um, it could go either way easily. AJ should win. He should. Is about, is about they should be one. promoting AJ to the hilt. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because he's there every single week. Yep. He is like the, the he's the best they have for for Christ's sake. <laughs> for sure. He's the best they have. You can't have them have him be squashed by Brock. Yep. I agree. Because um, can, can you really see anything creative going on in this match? Yeah, Brock Lesnar does have a issue of being extremely lazy in these kind of matches. Uh, the, uh, let blesses. me tell you how this match is going to end. Duplex F five. Uh, well, F5, nowhere. but AJ <laughs> Styles goes for the phenomenal forearm. Brock catches him. F5, game over. One, two, three. Uh, FLB. That, that sucks. He does. Um, but I think Brock wins. I do think Brock wins. Okay. I'm going to go for AJ Styles. Just because I won it so badly. <laughs> um, because they had, and they also had a good promo on SmackDown with Daniel Bryan, pretending to be uh, Paul Heyman, being AJ's advocate. It's funny. <laughs> um, like how AJ can start getting outsmart Brock Lesnar and outlast him. Um, the one other thing that could happen here is that um, towards the end of the match, the Shield come down. Oh, interesting. It cost Brock the match oh. uh, to signal Roman Reigns going for the belt of WrestleMania. That could work. That could happen. And AJ wins. Mm. Mm. Interesting. That could absolutely happen. It could. Mm. Because, because then it wins. also means that Roman Reigns <laughs> doesn't have to win the Royal Rumble. True. Which and then <laughs> Nakamura can win the Royal Rumble or whoever. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Um... I'm still yeah. going for Brock for now, but cool. I think that could happen. I think you could see because I mean, Rome, the Shield will like be first on or something. They'll yeah, win yeah. their match, then it sort of there's no Roman for the rest of the show, and then you could have then you can have Roman at the end of the show yes. because let's be fair, um, the Shield coming down and power bombing Brock or whatever that that gets a huge pop, Very true. a huge reaction, massive. Very true. Um, yeah, cool, interesting, interesting reaction. Um, and yeah, that's it for Survivor Series. Okay, so, so it. yeah, it's, I think it's going to be a very, very cool show. Yeah, definitely. Um, we will, in some form, be doing a Survivor Series prediction show this coming Sunday on Daydreamer Gaming. Yep. That's youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. Yep, if you yep. don't already, please head over there and subscribe. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll be playing through the entire card 
of Survivor Series on WWE 2K18. Or we will at least try to because the game does make it as hard as possible for us to do so. so. <laughs> yeah, kind of five and five matches. So have to do four and four. Yeah, so we have I to guess. do four and four and someone gets dropped. Yeah. Rip. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, this has been this has been good. Uh, it's a good return for us. Yeah, we're good. I'm a strong it. return. Yeah. I think what we should do once a month is what we did before, what we suggested sort of uh, before, but never carried it through, oh, yeah. is watch an old pay-per-view and uh, do like a review of it, like a cool. uh, like a, a match-by-match analysis type thing. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, so if there's a pay-per-view that you want to hear us cover, any pay-per-view, we've got the WWE Network, so it could be any pay-per-view that's on the WWE Network, yep, yep. and uh, we'll watch it, and we'll go through it match-by-match, match, and I think that could be a lot of fun. Yeah, it could. Yeah, leave your comments and tweet, tweet us, let us know what you want to see. Yeah, absolutely. But for now... This has been the very first episode Ooh. of Sonny and Finn's Grapscast. I'm Sonny. I'm Finn. Please do head over to SoundCloud, iTunes, all them other places where you can listen to podcasts and raters, all that sort of stuff. Yep, yep. But for now, thank you very much for listening. We'll be back next week with more yeah. wrestling talk. But for now, thank you very much. Goodbye. Thanks very much. Goodbye.